Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at Cucumber Studio. And the reason is that I, by a mistake, uh, pressed uh, try, try it out. Because um, I cannot see the huge, <laughs> the huge benefit of it, but I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to show, I'm going to demo it for you anyway. So it's because I was at the cucumber at the cucumber official page, like cucumber IO, and then there was a link to let me just show that cucumber IO. Then there was a link to try cucumber studio up in the um, up in the top right corner right there. So of course I had to try it out to see what what it, what it, what it could do, and it's probably also. Because it's not for me, it's not for developers, I guess. But it's um, it's for people that wants to to write uh, user stories and to, to write the real uh, some write to write to, uh, to write some behavior driven um, development tests, some BDD tests, and uh, maybe it's also for people that are not that uh, secure in what the the diff different uh, terms means. Uh, what is a user story? As a and then type of user, I want to do something that I can, I can benefit of. So that means that if I have my, I just wrote something right here, and it is not a user story, so I'll just edit this one right here. And then I'll say uh, as a um, as a commander, a space fleet, as a space fleet commander, I want to send. I want to send a spaceship. Um, to a planet. Um, to um, yeah, what kind of value could we get? Yeah, to um, to start a tra trading route, start a a trading route or something like that. You know, it's just just something I make up, of course. I am not a, a space fleet commander. It's just uh, so this could be a, a user story, right? Then I press save. Now, okay, now I know what a user story is. And then we can play some questions. We can play some some rules. Also, I, I played I placed one one rule right here that a, a spaceship needs to 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 fly a fuel to fly. So that is one rule. I can set up a lot of other conditions like um, um, the, of, of course uh, the spaceship needs some some crew members. We can add that. Um, we can we can add that under questions when, uh, on on the rules. Um, and then, uh, so then are the features, they, those are right here. So then we have the features right here. Here we can create a, a feature or a, and also a scenario. So here we say that the spaceship flies from uh, Mars to Jupiter. That could be one uh, yeah, feature that it can do that, right? Um, we also have one scenario right here. Um, I want to start a trade route. Um, to Mars, like this, right? That could be one scenario. And um, yeah, then there's a, then we can add some background, and we can add uh, yes, yeah, some some history. Uh, 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 the background that is uh, yeah, uh, right here. Then we can also add some feature files, um, the, which is actually the uh, the BDD test itself. That is the yeah, the, those are the files that we usually have in our workspace and. The, those files are usually run with uh, with some with some kind of cucumber uh, framework like the, like the Java one. Uh, whenever we push our code, of course. Or, um, so so that those are the that feature files right there. Um, then we can create some actions also, uh, like uh, fuel up uh, fuel up ship, or that's also some default ones right here. That says yeah, those are some uh, yeah, those are some so some built-in ones right here. And then we have some test runs where we can fill out um, and we can actually integrate with a lot of weird stuff. We can integrate with um, Jira, Slack, Trello, and also Jenkins. So this means we can actually start uh, and we can actually see how the, yeah, yeah, uh, to, to, yeah to, we can actually start a build from, from a test um, in, inside the Cucumber Studio. Um, we just need to give up the server right here. Uh, it just, it, it just seems like, um, it seems like it's half, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it's it's done and it doesn't seem like it's um it, yeah i cannot really see the use because usually when when i push when i push my code then my ci system will actually start the, the build and it will also run the test automatically i'm i don't i don't need, i don't need to trigger anything it will just be triggered automatically just by me pushing code and then my um, and then my tests will be being run and if i made any errors then of course my build will not run and i'll get an email that says that 
Uh, actually, I pushed some rubbish code that I have to fix, of course, because there was a failing test uh, inside. Of course, I would always, of course, run my test before I pushed my code, so that would not happen. But that <laughs> that that is uh, that, that could be one scenario, right? Um, so all of this, yeah, all of these uh, weird tools right here. There are also some metrics and there are some. It's trying to show also a dashboard of how it's going with the test, and it can show us that uh, yeah, it can show us how many. Uh, test that uh, yeah that passed and failed here we have i created this demo one myself there was actually some built-in ones right here this this uh, testing bookstore application right here then we have three scenarios and we have uh, two passed and one failed and uh, there's also something with we also add sprints so that we can actually add sprints on on, on top of this and uh, so it's a bit like scrum also here we can run our tests and then we can name it something like uh, demo Blah 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 blah, something there. And then we start the test, and then we see, then we can create a test like this buy many books. We yeah, do that. But this is not how I usually would use a uh, BDD setup. Uh, I, I, would, uh, I would run all of the tests when um, as, as part of my CI pipeline. Um, yeah. So. A selection can be cancelled. Okay, action, blah, blah. So then we have some actions right here. And I can define them myself to failed or... So it's a bit... It's probably not for developers, this tool. It's... Um... I did, if you, if you know if you if you it gives value to, if it gives any value to you, please let me know in the comments. There might be something that I have to that I've not understood. This is something I've mis misunderstood. That it has it has a lot of um, yeah, it has a lot of automation possibilities, but I just don't get it because usually I would run all of my uh, the feature files whenever I push the code. So so this was uh, this was Cucumber Studio. It was probably not a fair uh, review or walkthrough, uh, at, but uh, if yeah, it it just uh, I, I was not uh, I I could not see the value right away at least. So. Thank you very much for watching and um, have a great evening. Bye bye.